on March 6, 2016, um, we uh, we lost a really good man, a man by the name of Joshua Bordenero. Um, he uh, he leaves behind a wonderful wife and Charlene and uh, four beautiful children: Jasmine, Aiden, Dalen, and Aspen. And um, uh, this this video is mostly for the Bordenero family, um, but it's also for everyone and anyone who knew Josh. Um, because really, the way I see it, if you knew Josh, you were family. Uh, really, all of us who were, who knew, who had the wonderful, wonderful blessing of knowing Josh, um, is an honorary Bordenero. Um, this really is, is, is for his, his family and friends and, and for his children because, uh, his, his children, uh, I really want you to know the kind of guy your dad was. Um, and uh, the guy I knew and the guy you knew, completely different people. Because, you see, uh, the guy I, the Josh I knew was not a soldier. He wasn't, uh, you know, this, uh, you know, this, this man who defended America as he did. You know, he went ahead and he was in the Army and he was in the Marines and everything. The Josh I knew was the one I met when I was eight years old. And I knew him for the nine or ten most important years of someone's life, which was, you know, from elementary school straight until my high school graduation. Um, and, you know, he'll always be that rambunctious adolescent, uh, always in my mind. He'll never just, he'll never be, I, I see pictures of him as a soldier and out in Afghanistan or Iraq, and I see pictures of him and I say, you know, that's not the Josh I knew. Um... And I'd love to know about that, Josh. You know, but let me tell you about the Josh I knew. Okay, this is more or less from my side side of the story, and I know uh, I can be kind of boring and and, and and laid out. But let me give you a little story about about the Josh I knew. I see, long time ago, there was this thing that happened called the '80s, and uh, it was a weird time with people with big hair and lots of people taking cocaine. But I was just a little kid at the time, uh, and I was living out in Gainesville, Florida. It was where I was born, it was where I was raised, and I loved it. And then uh, in 1987, a uh, real weird thing happened to me. I went ahead and I moved. Moved to Tampa, Florida, and I absolutely hated it. I hated everything about it. It was the middle of the school year. I was in fourth grade. I didn't know anybody. I lost all my friends and uh, moved to a new town, and, and I came right into uh, Bellamy Elementary School. Francis Bellamy Elementary, the man who, who made the uh, the Pledge of Allegiance. Um, and I walk into this school in the middle of fourth grade. Everyone knows one another. Everyone knows everything about it, and I don't know anybody. I'm a complete stranger. I walk into fourth grade, and I'm like, oh, man, I don't know any of this. I want to go home. I want to go back to my swamp land. I want to go back. And this little, scrawny, dark-haired kid, bit of an overbite, comes up to me and says, hey, how you doing? I'm Josh. And that's how it started. That's how I met. He was my first friend in uh, a new city. And uh, uh, it started off right then. Found out he was in Boy Scouts. I was a Boy Scout back in Gainesville. I came into, into uh, the Boy Scouts here in Tampa, and he was right there with me. And we were together right then. We were, uh, we were soulmates at the time were best best friend I ever had and uh, we made our way through uh, the Cub Scouts got into Weeblos went right through Weeblos uh, went to the same uh, troop together in Boy Scouts and you know I said something to uh, Josh's widow and, and, and I mentioned it on uh, on our, our page the the page for the high school and everything I said that he was a terrible Boy Scout I want to take that back because that's not necessarily a true statement uh, where there was order, where there were rules, uh, Josh was incredible and impeccable. He, uh, he could, uh, move forward and go through, but, uh, where there was no borders, uh, he was the biggest troublemaker ever in the history of man. Uh, to, to the Bordenero kids, your dad was, uh, <laughs> was a troublemaker, a major troublemaker. And um I uh I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean he was fun. He was just fun.
Uh, and he was a good scout. He was a good scout because where there were, where, you know, all the stuff, the military type stuff, the stuff that was straight down, and there were laws and rules, he was so good at it. I can see where he made a wonderful, wonderful soldier. Uh, I think he needed the discipline of the Army and the Marines um, because without them, <laughs> he was he was crazy, man. He'd do the most crazy things that you would never imagine. Um, but getting back to uh, the man I knew, uh, the young man I knew, uh, he was he was my protector. You know, he, I was uh, I was I was a guy who couldn't protect myself. I was a kid who had no idea uh, about the the realities of life, and Josh would protect his friends. He'd go out and protect them. And, uh, you know, after high school, uh, I was replaced. <laughs> he replaced me with uh, America. And he'd go out and protect the Americans who couldn't protect themselves. So I don't mind being replaced. <laughs> yeah, you know, I got replaced by the country. I'm willing to accept that. Um, and I can, I can see it. It was purely in his character. Oh. I thought I wouldn't break up a little bit, but I think I will. Truth is, uh, I hadn't spoken to, uh, to Josh in the last, uh, 20 years. But he's always been the one person who I can dedicate those those wonderful childhood years that we all have uh, anyway I want to know more about the Josh I didn't know I want to know more about what happened after 1996 uh, so if you knew Josh, if you served with Josh, if you're a family member, please feel free to leave comments down below. If you want to make your own video, post your memories down below. Uh, Board and Arrow family, you are welcome to watch this video anytime you like. You can uh, you can reply to it any way you like. Uh, like I said, we are all a member of the Board and Arrow family. We are one big dysfunctional family right now. And... Uh, I think it's important that we remember Josh and remember his memory. Leave it uh, available for everyone. <laughs> Excuse me again. But I think it's important that we go ahead and uh, leave his memory alive here on the Internet forever. Uh, because he was a really special guy. He was a guy who got me through the most important time in my life. I like to think I had a, a little say in, excuse me, that's disgusting there. Uh, I had a, uh, a uh, uh, some sort of a, you know, representation in his life. Um, hey, I made Eagle Scout, and I would have never made it without his push and uh, without him helping me out in my Eagle project. I needed somebody, and he stepped right up. I had two volunteers. I had Joe Lombardo, and I had Josh Bordenero. It's like I'm here. I am a Polak surrounded by a bunch of Italians, and uh, uh, they're helping me out. So there you go. Uh, screw World War II. Who cares who was on what side? <laughs> but uh, like I said, if you have a memory of Josh, please leave it down below. Um, I uh, I want to say to his kids and to his family that he was a wonderful, rambunctious kid. Uh, he was the one guy who could find trouble anywhere. He was. He was too honest to be a politician and uh, not honest enough to be a saint. But, man, we had a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. And uh, I'm going to miss you, buddy. I know somewhere somewhere up there he's saving me a seat and balcony with a thumbtack in it. Because that's the kind of thing he would do. And... Uh, if you all need anything, if anyone in this big dysfunctional family needs anything, just uh, just call in one of us because 
will be there for you. If you follow my Facebook page, <coughs> I will be posting some pictures from the past. One of an incredibly ugly, almost light brown, light brown haired, almost red haired kid. That was me, and I guess I'm the ugly one. Uh, and then Josh will be there with me. Uh, he's the other ugly one, but not as ugly. Uh, and hey, he got four kids. What can I say? He, he, he liked to have people to protect. That's that's my theory, and I'm sticking to it. So uh, let's uh, let's keep this guy's memory alive because it's it's important. And then we'll see him all on the other side. So uh, it's the Born Narrow family, which is all of us. Have a great one, and uh, let's share some memories. Talk to me.